it's like the second week of September and I'm already wearing a sweater. Well, oh, this is not my room. This is my older sister Taylor's room because she is the best lighting and I'm literally right in front of the window, which I would not be able to do in my own room, so... So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some childhood stories because why not? This is literally my answer for everything. Why not? I'm a really embarrassing person and I'd like for you guys to know just how embarrassing I really am off camera. Literally, my friends are always telling me, Anya, you're so embarrassing. Like, please don't do some of the stuff you do in public, okay? Wait! <laughs> I'm only going to be sharing with you three childhood stories today, so let's get into the video. Okay, we're gonna start off with the church pew. And this happened when I was 10 and I'm still really embarrassed by it today. Okay, so me and Zoe were sitting in church and we were with my parents because, you know, only the cool kids at 10 years old sat with their parents and their best friend during church. I mean, bugs. I mean, there are countless stories of Zoe and I at church getting lost and stuff. That's a whole other chapter right there, but like, we're just focusing on the worst one. By the way, thumbs this video up if you want to have Zoe and I tell you stories about us at church getting lost and stuff we've done that we've gotten in trouble for. But anyways, we were both sitting in church with my parents and being the cool kid I was, I was sitting on my dad's lap at 10 years old. He made Zoe and I laugh at, at something. I don't even remember what it was. It made me laugh hard enough to pee my pants on my dad's lap and for it to go all over the church pew and it still has a stain there to this day. He was like all like, ho ho ho, Anya, don't pee yourself, okay? Because I had always had issues with that when I was younger. I promise you today I do not have issues with that ever because I've learned from this story. So he was all like, Anya, don't pee yourself, okay? And I was like, okay, daddy. And like five seconds later, I pee on my dad's lap, in church, in front of all my friends, in front of all my parents' friends, in front of the pastor, and in front of Zoe. That's why she's not allowed to stop being my best friend, because the girl knows too much. And so, like, this lady that had a baby with her, she tried to soak it up with a diaper and stuff. I ended up having to take a shower at the church, and we were supposed to go to IHOP with everybody, including Zoe's family, but... You know, we couldn't go because you know what happened. I'm not going to explain it again. But yeah, that is still one of my most embarrassing moments to this day. And I can't believe I'm recording this. People at school will watch this and immediately make fun of me for it. So The second story is again about Zoe and I at church. Because that's where everything goes down. This was our first day of 6th grade Sunday school in the separate building away from the church. We call it the warehouse here. And it's where the middle schoolers and high schoolers go. And so this is our first Sunday over there. And my cousin Hannah was with us. And so we had just gotten done with Sunday school. And my parents, they meet us. They said they'd meet Hannah, Zoe, and I in the lobby of the church. Our church is huge. It's all like and stuff. There's like 3,000 lobbies to choose from. And so um, we thought they meant some other lobby. And so we went all around the church. This church is freaking huge. Like it's right by an interstate and stuff. So so the church is in the center, you got the warehouse, and the main building is in the center where the cross is, and um, you've got the interstate going on this side of the church, and you got the parking lot, and the trolleys, and the warehouse, and the entrance to the church over here. So this is where Zoe and I were, and we walked all around the interstate, and it back around and we snaked around and it was an hour later until we found our par my parents 
and boy were they mad. Um, literally, we were only supposed to cross the parking lot from the warehouse to the main building and meet my parents. That's all we had to do. Being the idiots we were, and the smart person my cousin was, we ended up going around the entire church like eight times. The third and last story I will be sharing with you happened last year on field day. So last year there was this kid who we're gonna call him Bob. I still don't know why I did this. I'm not proud of it at all. But anyways, it was field day and we had this little water thingy that you could like race people down and like go into this pit that was supposed to be full of water but it's actually full of mud and water because you know we southern there has to be mud in everything and so we were sitting in the back of the line me and my friends will and michaela were in the back we were having a little mud fight and like so we were just slapping mud on each other and then bob joins the the thing and there was mud everywhere and we were having a mud fight and Bob joins in and so Bob ain't looking so I thought it was a great idea to just scoop up a handful of mud and it was like a huge clump like pow so I sneak up behind him and there's like 50 people watching and half these people are friends with Bob and so um and I slap him across the face. I didn't even slap him hard. It sounded like I just went like all over his face, but like, no, I did not. I was just like, but like the mud, it made it sound like I was like all pew on his face, but that did not happen. So I'm sorry, Bob. I don't slap people for no reason. There's a list of at least a hundred people. I wish that I had slapped instead of Bob. But yeah, guys, this was stories from the past. And uh, like this video, give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And be sure to comment down below some video ideas or some things that you've gotten in trouble for that you have no idea why you did that because it was so freaking stupid. And be sure to subscribe to become a cactus because cacti are amazing, you've got to admit. And we can be buddies. So yeah, don't question it, just the same thing. And stay weird. I'll see you guys in my next video next Monday. And so, goodbye.